Hey everybody, um, it's week 12 of marathon training, and um, also, do you like this wavy hair that I have? I'm going to do a tutorial on it, because I just learned how to do it. It's a little frizzy right now, but I'm going to show you how to do that, and it's going to be up later this week. I don't know if you can see it very well. It's already kind of frizzing and stuff, but yeah, you can watch that later this week. Um, okay, so marathon training. Um, it went well last week. I did my eight miles, uh, fat per, like fastish for me. I did my first five miles in an hour, which is like a goal of mine to because that's what I ran before when I first started running. So that's getting back to that. I've um, I think I've done that a couple times now. And eventually I'd like to run three miles in 30 minutes, but that's faster. And I'm not going to stress out about that for like this marathon or anything like that. Um, also, my four miles was fine. I'm trying to think if there's anything significant about it. I don't think so. Um, my big thing was the 16 miles this weekend, and I was really nervous about it. After my last weekend ended, or my last 15 miles ended crazy. I just was like nervous that I wasn't going to be able to do it or like I wasn't going to get stronger or whatever. I was looking up all these fueling um, articles and but what I realized is um, everything specific to that person. Like I have to figure out what, what fueling is going to work for my body, my weight, my pace, my temperature outside, um, the elevation, etc. So I just have to figure it out. Um, so I just tried, I um, wore my water belt and I had two Gatorades, two ice waters, and then I ran with a half full water bottle, I guess. And I'm sure people are like, girl, you have a lot of water or whatever drinks with you. But I was like, I'm running 16 miles and I need it. So. I ran with that for like the first yeah five-ish miles and then there's some like trash cans along the way so I like tossed it before it was quite all gone but I just didn't want to run with it. It just get, got my hands super sweaty. Um, and then I just tried to listen to my body. I think like some people say they don't take their goose to like 10 miles and like um, it was, so I was gonna wait till I like turned around like at the top. It's so, like went eight and a bit miles at the top. But I was feeling like my stomach started gurgling or, oh, I don't know, saying it wanted food around seven miles. So, yeah, that's when I took my first view. And um, I think I tried to pace a little. I tried to really pay attention from then on. For, for breakfast before I left, I ate a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So that lasted me seven months. And then um, when I got to the top, I went eight miles and a little bit further so that when I came back, I wouldn't have to run so long in my complex because like that, like I said from my last video, it's like psychologically, I'm like, okay, I'm home. I don't want to run anymore. So um, anyways, I, uh, then I, you know, tried to pace it too. So I would do every mile or half mile, depending on how I felt do Gatorade and then like a drink of Gatorade, a drink of water, a drink of Gatorade, a drink of water. So I did that and then every time I like, I would have a plan of like, okay, I'm going to take my next goo or my next chews or whatever. This certain time it was usually about half a mile before I had planned. Um, I would start feeling hungry again. And I didn't want to let it get too far before I'm like really hungry because sometimes um, the goos or the chews like take a minute to get into your blood or whatever. So for them to be effective, I would just be like, ah, okay, let's eat now. So I did three chews at a time this time as well. And I also like saved half of my chews for like mile 14 and a half, just so I could finish those last like mile and a half or whatever, like strong. Cause that was what I really struggled with last time. And I tried to also like not overload my body because uh, I think at the end of my 15 miles, I was like just so hot. I was just like, I felt like I needed all the water and juice and stuff or Gatorade. So I was just drinking a lot. And I think that just like weighted down my stomach. It was just, look at my hands. 
Anyways, and so um, I tried to like pay attention to that as well. I also ran in shorts, and I started at like 8.30, and I didn't have much chafing. <laughs> so I might end up just running in those shorts that I have, or like I have put bikers under like my running shorts. Um, but if I can find like a running skirt that I can wear over them, that would be good too, because the shorts like right up, because I still have like biggish legs, big girl legs, whatever. So they just look right up. I'm sure people are like, oh, wow. I don't know. I think too much about what other people think about me. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. So anyways, the good news is, is that I finished my 16 miles and I felt fine. Like I felt like I could keep going probably. And I was glad to be done, but I felt like, oh, I, get, I feel okay. I feel like I don't want to die. And like, so that was like a major plus for me. So that's my 16 mile story. Um, my knees were kind of hurting at the end. Um, and my my thighs hurt today more than they ever have. And so I don't know like if it's from the running or I went bike riding on Friday. So I don't know if that like, it was only a short bike ride, but couldn't, I don't know. So this week is a little bit of a break. I tried to run four yesterday, but I had a little intestinal issue. So I ran like three and a half. And it was so windy yesterday. Um, and then tomorrow I have eight again, I think, and it's at race pace, so that should be okay. And then Friday or Thursday, I think I might have five miles hard. I'm not sure. Then uh, Saturday's just 12, so it kind of gives me a little respite. And then the weekend after that will be 18. <gasps> so I only have really two more super long runs. I'm like, that's crazy. It's coming up. And after those two, like, long runs, then I'll start tapering. <sighs> so, oh, and also, um, if you guys watch at all, uh, Shay Carl, I think his name is, um, he does Shay Tards and he did Shay Loss. You should look up those, um, YouTube, that YouTube channel, Shay Loss. And he, like, oh my gosh, he, like, put in his, like, miles on his marathon. He ran the LA Marathon yesterday. And he's so fast, but super inspirational because he like lost a bunch of weight like I went through and like watched all of his videos the other day well not all of them but a lot because he used to be bigger and he just lost weight and like just watching his videos ah oh, made me like super nervous and excited and like want to cry all at the same time because like he just kept saying I'm doing it I'm doing it and it was his first marathon and I just like I can imagine how it's gonna feel like huh <sighs> Um, I might do another video about just how I'm like, how training is affecting me like emotionally and psychologically, but it's too long to put in this one. So anyways, okay. Um, that's all I have to say about that and then we'll see you guys in next week's video. Okay.